So before I went to the Philippine Science High School or studied in Kasai, I was an actress. I mean, not an actress, actress. I was like a ninja actress. Not like I did several commercials, uh, print ads, shows, stuff like that. I was handled by GMA for several years before studying in Kasai. I was in the middle of my very first show uh, when I took the entrance exam for Philippine Science High School. It turns out the entrance exam for Pisai is like literally the next day and I was on taping like at that moment. Panicking, panicking, panicking. I was gonna take the exam in Bataan. I didn't even know if like I'd be able to answer anything. I took the exam and Philippine Science High School Scholar. <laughs> anyway, today I uh, invited a very special guest. You might recognize them from like a lot of stuff, like uh, the Ones of Love, uh, that Nor commercial. So I invited Josh with me today, and we were in a we were in a magazine photo shoot a few years back, and I remember him telling me that he studied in Kisai. And that's Kaza City Science High School. So I invited him to just kind of share with you our experience as an actor and as a science high school student. So yeah, before that, we're gonna watch some of the scenes that I had in the TV show that I was talking about before I entered the side. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and let's get on with it. Okay, so we're back with the um, dramatic episode of My Mother's Secret. Ooh, here. I re reject ng katawan ni Anton, ang liver donor. Me, don't I donate po. I'm sure po match po kami ni Daddy. Okay. Iko, Mom. Fast forward, so like the real daughter of my parents decided to uh, live with us in our house. And yeah, so it's just the, the beef starting. You should know your place! You're just a guest that hindi ka anak ng mga magulang ko. Is that true na ampun ako? It doesn't matter. Tunay na anak kang tuling namin sa'yo ng daddy mo. Right 
Can you hear me? I just woke up here. My hair is messed up. Are you right, Jisha? This is filming right now. Josh, okay, I think we right, let's start. Let's start this. Okay. All right, there we go. So, um, yo, what's up? My name is Josh Ford. I'm 17 right now, and I used to go uh, to Kansas City Science High School when I was grade seven to grade eight. Uh, alongside that, I was a child actor as well, so it was interesting. So, yeah. I've been in quite a few of adverts. I've been, um, nor, nor commercial. Coca Cola advert. First league commercial was Nest Fruta. The one when I was blindfolded and I was like, oh, Kimuras. I was also in um, Kimmy Ice Cream. I used to do shows, Oddball, on the Wings of Love, mm -hmm. with James Reed and Nadine. Yeah, I think I, I think that was the most famous one I have. Wait, what, what's your one, Trisha? Oh, I, I was literally just at the start of my career. Like, I also did commercials, like Jollibee, Eden, Dan. Okay, 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 okay. Here. So, um, I think uh, people would want to know how you started acting. So, I've got, I've got an older brother, yeah. He was supposed to be in Going Bully Lit, my brother. He didn't know how to speak Tagalog. Oh. So, it was, it, it was a bit crap because, you know, <laughs> my mom put me in it. I was the one who succeeded. My brother's a genius. Yeah. He went to Kasai as well, yeah. He's more of an academic side than acting, acting side. I'm more of acting than academic. But yeah. I also got into Kasai, so like... I'm blessed. <laughs> How did you get into Kasai? Like, why did you decide to go to, to Kasai? Oh, that's a very good question. I'm not even gonna lie. I wasn't smart. I only, like, got really smart when I was, um, grade 5. Mm. From top, top 28, yeah. I became top 2. And I was like, whoa, Josh, you're smart now. <laughs> it took a lot, because at grade 6, I was just having fun, you know. I, was, I just got really lucky with the exam, I guess. How did you balance that? Like, it's very hard because you know you go from like vaping and then you have to go to mm. school. Yeah. To be fair, I think I had privileges in Kisai. Oh, really? Because you know, we have to, like, boys have to have short haircut, yeah? Uh huh, yeah. So when I was in Kisai, I didn't have curly hair. I was, I was a straight hair kid, I, like Justin Bieber. Right. They were like, oh, yeah, just let your hair be. I don't know. To balance it, yeah. One time when I revised the whole review, I was taping it. The way I review, I just read the book and I'll be fine with it. Did Kasai like allow you to make absences or? Well, they didn't allow me, but I'm not absent. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, you just gotta do what you gotta do. But I'm not going to be able to make my shooting for this day. Is it alright if I don't go class? And then they'll be fine with it. Because I still. I still got the grades anyways at the end. I didn't fail anything. For my case, I didn't really have a choice. So it's like, I really can't, I don't know, I can't. Sure. I didn't really have, when I got into Pisa, really? like, yeah, when I got into Pisa, everything just like, my life just drastically changed, I guess. Subject to Pisa. Uh, yeah, Pisa, I mean. <laughs> I'm taking physics right now. Physics, physics. online. We uni and college, it's different. Oh. College is like senior high. But it's easier though. What is? It's easier here than Philippines. Philippines. Philippines was too stressful. I woke up at 5 a.m., got home at 6 p.m. I can tell you're very smart, but I'm just like, no, no, I'm there. You can't say that. I mean, you have no, no, no. But yeah, that's facts, though. I'm, I'm decently, let's say, like. Josh, okay, let's quit it. <laughs> let's quit the Academic, I, academically, academically. I just want to ask, like, do, do many people know that you're also like, you also do well academically? The pers like, the way you see actors, because it. You don't think they're smart, eh? Diba? You think they did they just did this to have a future, but in, in the Philippines, oh my God, there's so much people I know who are actually very smart. That's true. It's just sad now, no? Like even though like there are a lot of people out there in the industry who do well in like other aspects, ganyan, parang they're really caged to a very one-dimensional image, I guess, of like just mm. good looks, good looks. Artista um, yan, abs, he's white. So much more than just. Oh, that. I appreciate that, you know. <laughs> that yeah. put a smile on my face. Right now, I'm I'm on a pause. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ended my career yet. Mm -hmm. I'm on a pause. Uh, just family reasons. Come back to me. We went to the UK. It's hard though. Mm -hmm. So brang hard. I was born here, mm -hmm. but it doesn't make me, you know, like British, British. like. I'm more of a Filipino than UK kid. You get me? Like, Pinoy ako eh. That's so cute though. You have like, you have a Philippine map. I was the one who put that up. That's so cute. You have to, you have to know your background. Right before we left, I had the, I had the shooting and had the big role. Do you know Encantadia? Yeah. I was supposed to be in a very big role in Encantadia. It's a bit sad, but it is what it is. I can't wait to go back to the Philippines. Though. Yeah. My gosh, you were like, right? You were so small. Was it smaller than you? I think so. Come How on. tall are you now? Let's not, let's not talk about it. No, no, come on, Trisha, tell me. <laughs> sige na, sige na. How tall are you? I'm five one. That's not even short for Filipino, you know that? I think I'm five ten now. Yeah, so you're hearing me. Yeah. Five, wait, five one? Ah, uh, be. What's I the title gonna be? Um, Josh Ford. <laughs> Josh Ford. Josh Ford. That's it. No, are you crazy? 
Ang bad ko kaya ako yun. Blum, thanks for letting me, you know, yeah. do this. I think we should take a picture. Do I have to look at the camera, yeah? Okay, yeah. One, two, three. Okay, thank you so much, Josh. That was a pleasure. Damn. Thank you, Trisha. You should probably I'll see you later, yeah? Bye-bye. Bye, thanks. So, Josh and I actually talked for a lot longer than that, but we kind of forgot to stay on topic. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right here. Sorry about that. I just want to say thank you to Josh for agreeing to do this with me. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to have you here. And I also want to thank, um, uh, of course, my parents because in whatever path I took, they were there to support me. And they really gave me the liberty in choosing what I wanted to pursue. It's not every day that you get to have a precise scholarship. It's a really, really hard school to get into. So for me, it was just, I didn't think that I could let that pass. Knowing that like I gave something huge up for my education, it really pushed me to do more and work harder. And yeah, and I think it pays off no man, like ha <laughs> ha ha. Ever since grade seven until now, I'm in 11th grade. Uh, I've been a DL and I've never been off the list since. But yeah, not really closing my doors to like acting or I don't know, other things. To be honest, acting really is my passion. It's just that I really have to focus on my education right now. But that doesn't mean that I quit acting. It's just something that I put in the sidelines for a little while. I don't really know where my life will lead from this point on. One thing for sure is that I'd really, really give my 100% in everything. Yeah. So yeah, please don't forget to click like, subscribe, or and leave a comment down below if you have anything to say, uh, if you have any thoughts or whatever. Really, really want to hear them. I really read all the comments. So thank you guys so much for staying and watching this video. And hope to see you real soon. Bye.